so <laughs> of course, Korean's not yet to keep us in line. Yeah. So. And we have an hour to fill or less. <laughs> it's right. Yeah. So, uh, I'm just going to talk a little bit about my my choice on this. Sure. Uh, you you said it depends on the game. I it, agree. Yeah. I I would even say it depends on the genre. Yeah. No. I would I would completely agree with that as well. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, uh, I agree with you that for a Horizon, a forty hours main quest up to hundred hour, it's what I played, and it's a good land for this kind of game. And in this kind of game, you include uh, Ghost of Tsushima, uh, all the Tomb Raiders, all of the Uncharted, all of the adventure game in general. That's good. Uh, I don't know how, how long a Demon Souls would go, but I think it's. Uh, People quite are, lengthy as well people are saying 100 hours ish or more yeah again we are taking all the fun of scary aside because that would be a good thousand hours so it can shoo. be <laughs> shoo <laughs> i i do feel like skyrim is a little bit different though like skyrim i feel like is the kind of game where you can play and you can put it down and you can play something else and then you can come back to skyrim whereas something like horizon zero dawn or the witcher mm -hmm. I feel like that would be harder to do just because the plot is so much more uh you feel like you have to you know get through the whole thing whereas in skyrim Absolutely. yeah you can just be like you know what i'm not really doing anything that important and then just play something else and then come back you're right absolutely kind of like and, minecraft uh, or something in a way <laughs> also i really like games like this it honestly take a lot out of me like i'm not 40 years old yet but soon and uh, after a month of Horizon Zero Dawn, where I really wanted to go down the plot before I start losing interest, I was play trying to play about two hours a night, like uh, between 9 and 11. I can tell you the day after at work, and especially at the end of the week, I was wrecked. It really takes a lot out of me to finish a game like this. That's why when I finished Horizon, I was like, all right, next game, I take it easy like very very easy and that's why i'm playing you know some um, very small game like um, star sector you know it's the stuff which you start a game and again it's there's no it's a sandbox so you can play like 10 15 hours you can stop anytime you have no lore to think about or anything that's a very relaxing game it's a bit like you know korean's relaxing game i'm sure korean would prefer shorter kind of game oh but, yeah uh, definitely for, for me, ideally, uh, I, I, ideal time play for me at this time would be um, survival sandbox game, very much like the Subnautica series. And if you follow Subnautica, Subnautica three, uh, unknown uh, unknown worlds or unknown horizon, I think it's a studio is unknown worlds, has announced that they are working on number three, which is fantastic. Uh, and these games are. 15 20 hours how much you are um, crazy about making the top quality base and, and, and things like this but 15 20 hours that's great and there's lore of course the story but not that heavy because it's a sandbox game you mainly spend a lot of time crafting and collecting and crafting and create your base and stuff like this so it's really like playing lego in a video game <laughs> of course there's some beast trying to eat you but it's very relaxing and i really love this kind of game because literally it takes me out of the daily routine of bringing the kids to <laughs> to school and working and stuff like this and uh, it doesn't take a lot out of me you know like physically like uh, Tsushima or Horizon Zero Dawn with a hundred hours, and I know that I really need to play if I want to keep to stay in the story. Yeah, Subnautica would be uh, much easier for me now, and I'm not a grandpa, come on, <laughs> but still, it's just how busy the week is. You know, I'm telling you that I'm uh, you know playing from nine to eleven, but. Uh, before that, you know, I had a 10 hours day and uh, I had the kids to go bring and come back to school and homework and uh, everything in between. <laughs> I'm not going to detail how, how long a day is. If you're a parent, you know what I'm talking about. It can be quite long. And, you know, when you start, you know, you finish your day and at nine, you're like, I'm dead. Should I just go, to, you know, like start a either an episode of a, of a Netflix series, like one hour or a movie or something, or should I play? Okay, I, I need to play because I know if I don't play, I'm going to lose interest and I'm never going to finish this game and it's going to be in my list of unfinished game. And I don't want that because I really love this series. So 
allez, let's go, two hours, let's go. And you know that once you start, you're like so much into the theory, you're like, 11.30, no, I told myself I would stop at 11. Ha, ah, yeah, but one more quest. <laughs> I've definitely been there before, yeah. And then you, you know, you have your alarm at 5.30 and you're like, ah, oh, I knew I shouldn't have done that last quest. <laughs> <laughs> but then you do it, you do it again the next day. Well, that depends. Usually, usually the next day I'm like, no, uh, it was too hard today. Let's go to sleep. <laughs> so one day out of two, I would just, you know, sleep, actually. Oh, well, and you have more uh, self-control than I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh no no i'm just wrecked <laughs> i'm just completely wrecked i just uh, can't can't do that uh, otherwise the kind of game which i find very it which could be very long honestly like more than 100 hours easily and yet it's still a good play time would be all the 4x game civilization stellaris all of this because it's you know pass your turn you can play half an hour and just pick it up and the next day and you can do very short session but for a very long time and that's very good because horizon would be long session very short time after a month you're like okay i have enough i want to go to something else civilization is fine because you can play for one two months it's it's okay you never kind of lose interest or you will but you know it take a longer time so so it's fine for me, that would also be considered a, a good time length, even though it could easily go to 200 hours, you know, for a game. Uh, it's, you know, weird to say, but that's how it goes. So it really depends on the genre. Mm. Yeah, definitely. I, it, like, I, like I said, RPGs are kind of my thing, and I like RPGs to be fairly long. And then kind of the same thing with, uh, what call it, with the, uh, uh, the action RPGs. You know, like the the dark the uh, Dark Souls and, and that sort of thing. Uh, I th and I think maybe it, it kind of depends on the gameplay as well. But uh, yeah, if I was playing um, a game like say Catherine, I I would say maybe like twenty hours would be good. Um, mm -hmm. But especially because a game like Catherine, it, it depends too, because like a game like Catherine has multiple endings. And quite a few as well, and so the and, and because of that, you know, the gameplay it's not combat oriented; it's puzzle oriented. But uh, one of the great things about that game is if you've completed the puzzle once, you can skip it if you're playing it on the same or lower difficulty. So if you play the game, say on normal difficulty, one time through, you can skip all the puzzles and just go straight to the story part. But it has a total of what? Uh, three. It has a total of I think nine, four, twelve. But then like, uh, full body has something like I don't know, twelve, fifteen different endings. So depending on which path you go, it makes a huge difference. So in that case, I think having a shorter game is good because it, it encourages you to replay, 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 replay. Um. So if if for instance Skyrim had, you know. And endings. There's no way I'm playing through to get every <laughs> ending. Uh, that was one of the things with like uh, The Witcher Three. When I pl played The Witcher Three, I was playing it fairly thoroughly. And this is something too: is is if you're gonna have a long game, you have to have good gameplay. In The Witcher, I loved the stories. I loved the interactions between the characters. I thought all that was great, but the combat was kind of lacking. And so, you know, after. 60 hours or so it started to feel kind of like a slog where i'm just like oh, you know, like i wish i could just fast travel to where i need to go you know running across the map and, and after that after kind of got old and you know i just want to get to the meat just just take me straight to the story you know t make it a visual novel from here on out um but i ended up putting over 200 hours <laughs> into that game and, and after 200 hours and it was one of those things where like after 200 hours and they're like oh yeah there's multiple endings and uh, you know, there's there's other challenges and, you know, they're going to come out with a PS5 version. And I, and I was just like, no, I'm done. I'm never going to touch this game again. I'm glad I played it. I had a lot of fun, but I am not touching this again. There's just no way. Uh, whereas with Mass Effect, when I played Getting Ready for Andromeda, I played Mass Effect 1 through 3 back to back. And, you know, that was probably around 200 hours. And it, it's three different games, but, you know, it, it kind of feels like one when you're playing them all back to back. And 
But that one, you know, I was thinking like, yeah, maybe someday I'll try it again and, and, and try a different path and whatnot. Uh, not now, because, you know, I, I'm, I want something else. But uh, but yeah, you know, because yeah. the combat was a lot more fun. It was a lot more interesting. So, yeah, you have to have kind of that interesting gameplay loop. 